let's make a fairy crown. A magical, beautiful thing to place atop our heads, to celebrate the changing seasons, the turning of the wheel of the year, to embrace our magic spirit and honor our fairy friends. I'll start by cutting out a variety of fairy wings that I've printed onto a transparency sheet. These are available printed or for download in my shop, but you can absolutely make your own. I'm using wings that range in size from about one and a half inches to three inches for this headpiece. Next, I'm tearing some strips of tea-stained fabric. I'm using a piece from an old cotton bed sheet for this, and the strips are about one centimeter wide. I'm wrapping an inexpensive headband with those cotton strips. I place a little dab of hot glue and then wind the fabric around. A little more glue as I go along keeps the fabric secure. Now, you could skip this step altogether. You could use ribbon or lace instead. It's entirely up to you. I'm doing this not only because I like old and weathered things, but because it will give my embellishments a better surface to adhere to. After the cotton, I'm adding a bit of grunged up cheesecloth. I'm covering the middle portion of the headband. Again, you can skip this step if you like, but I find that it gives a really good base for all of those bits that I'm going to add. I'm using faux flowers and leaves for this piece. I just bought a few branches from the Dollar Tree that I'll dismantle and take apart to use the separate elements. I start by gluing a sprig of leaves on either side of the headband. Try to keep your leaves on the outside of the band and don't start right at the end. Keeping those ends and the underside free from embellishments will make wearing your crown much easier and much more comfortable. From there, I work in layers adding a little to one side and then to the other, tucking flowers in here and there. The two sides don't have to be identical, but try to keep a balanced look.
When adding the wings, I work in the same way. I use the flowers and leaves that I've already added to tuck my wings in and add a little dab of hot glue to secure them. I work on one side, then the other. This does not have to be perfect and the sides don't need to be identical. But again, you want to strive for a balanced look. I place larger wings towards the back and center and smaller ones to the front and sides. A small note here, if you want to add glitter to your wings and don't want glitter on the rest of the piece, consider adding your sparkle before attaching your wings. At this point, I'm going to turn my attention to the back. I'm applying some faux leaves just to keep that backside neat and tidy. Now for more. More flowers, more greenery, more, more, more. If you wanted to create this piece using real dried flowers, you absolutely could, but be aware that it would be much, much more fragile to handle and to wear. Also, if you're like me and like to clean up those wispy glue strands with a blast from your heat gun, be aware that too much heat could curl, melt, or warp those transparent wings, so be careful. Finally, some little craft red cap mushrooms. But what finishing touches will you add to your fairy crown? Butterflies? Snail shells? Crystals? Found feathers or twigs? Whatever you choose, I hope that you wear your fairy crown, your enchanting headpiece with pride, and that it reminds you that you are made of stardust and magic.